Uh, hello, it's Maria and today I'm going to make a cake, birthday cake, very chocolate birthday cake for my friend James that is going to turn 30 in two days and it's a special commission because he's vegan of course and his family is not and they asked him do you eat eggs or milk as a vegan? No, we don't do not. So very easy way to make some sponge cake is Turn on your measuring thing. Okay, 175 grams of self-raising flour. Then it's going to be two full teaspoon of baking powder. Then it's going to be 25 grams of cocoa powder. 75 grams of sugar. Okay. And then we're going to add a pinch of salt, just a few sparkles of pink Himalayan salt, just to bring up the flavour. And then we need to melt 125 milliliters of wort of butter, like sunflower spread, vegan, dairy free. So now I melted the um, sunflower spread going just to add it in there and last ingredient some cold water is 325 milliliters just add it in and give it a good shake mix all the ingredients properly you will feel it they get thicker after a while silicone mold that I already used for the two previous ones just put a tiny bit of the spread because otherwise it tends to leave the bottom attached just put it in and put it in the oven for about 30 minutes 190 degrees celsius okay this is the final result it's not really from that one but this is the first result I had and it's really nice on the other side this is going to be the top part where I'm going to do the decoration. Two layers. Um, I'm not going to attempt to cut it, I just do two. Make it like a sandwich. And this is going to be the filling for it, and is 500 milliliters of Alpro custard, that is vegan custard. To make it thicker, and to get this kind of consistency, there's a bit more like a pudding, I added a bit about, uh, oh, like a bar of melted chocolate. It's going to be like just a chocolate explosion. Once a year is fine. Just don't have it. Every day. Okay, now I'm going to make the ganache, the chocolate ganache, just to make a difference. Uh, that is going to coat the whole cake. And it's going to be three bars of chocolate. That is about is 300 grams of dark chocolate plus a can of coconut milk, the full fat one. So the very creamy one, that is about 400 ml. Now I'm going to melt in a very low fire. And then I'm going to add coconut milk in there. Ooh. Look at that coconut water coming out. Ooh, look at that. Now it's all nice and melted. I'm going to transfer it in this pot and probably put it in the fridge or in the freezer to cool it down. Now is the time to put everything together. This is the first attempt for the Boom. the three. I'm not sure if I have enough hazelnut to go around, so first I do like that, and then if I have any more, I'll do the side, or maybe coconut. coconut. So, we have the base. I had to chop a little bit the top because it was popping out. And then we have the custard. Chocolate custard, just to... And we just add it on top. I added also quite a, a bit of the coconut milk, the hard part, to make it a little bit thicker. Uh, it's already still a bit runny. We're going to add the other part. This is the ugly part that got a bit broken. It's going to be reversed. So just flip it Oop. and place it on top. So you get the nice part. Uh, it's there. time for the ganache to go all around it and it got really nice and thick in the freezer. So I'm 
So now this is going to be funny. I don't even have a spatula in this uh, This house. is the harder part, hardest part, so try to not make everything pop off. Start putting on the sides. Try to seal all the chocolate. We'll do it for James. Jamie boy. You should love me forever, James, after today. I already love you forever, Maria. Thank you. So now I managed, kind of, to spread it properly around the fudge. Looking good. And I have the shape of the zero because it's going to be 30, right? Maybe some par parchment paper or something like that, I don't know. And we have some chopped hazelnuts, they're roasted. It's very amazing. It is like... Ferrero Rocher. So just kind of spread them around. Now, the moment of truth. If we're going to get the zero out or not. Zero! <laughs> I think must be on this side. This is the James, by the way. The sexy guy I told you. Do you like it? So basically, keep going until you cover it. And that's it. Thank you so much to all the new subscribers. It's amazing. And I feel a bit of pressure, but I'll try to do my best. And I really appreciate every single of you. It's amazing. Like, I'm so, so happy. Thank you.